Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Banerji. In this particular video, I am going to tell you the top 3 reasons to choose botany as your career option in 2025 in India. If you want to live in India, if you want to stay in India and want to work in the field of botany and if you want to decide to go get into BSc in botany, then MSc in botany, whether it will be good for you or not, there is a two part video series. In this part, we are going to talk about the top 3 reasons to choose botany as your career option and there will be another video of top 3 reasons not to choose botany as your career option. Watch both the videos and then decide. So let's begin to talk about the top 3 reasons that I believe is very good about botany in India in 2025. The very first thing is regarding the ethics. In India particularly right now if you want to continue your career in botany then you will get plenty of ch a chance to uh, work in the climate change, the projects like climate change which is a real big deal right now and we all need to work somehow to fix the issues with the climate change. So this is something that you can work with. Uh, then there is uh, conservation, biology and sustainable development. So this is a section where most of the botanists and zoologists are going to play integral role. Uh, right now we don't give them enough credit for that but this is where they want to play. They, they are going to play the biggest role out here. And for example there will be opportunities in government agencies like a botanical survey of India, uh, Forest Research Institute FRI and National Biodiversity Authority or NBA. All these uh, government inst institutes are out there where you can get your career into, you can set up your step up your career from graduation uh, after the graduation getting there and also uh, you can involve with uh, some good projects of India regarding conservation and uh, also regarding the afforestation. For example, the carbon credit projects are out there, climate resilient crops uh, productions, habitat restoration. For all these different projects, you can be a part and you can play an integral part of all these projects. So if you consider serving to the humanity for the greater good of this earth and for the next generation to come, you are not thinking of the money that you are going to earn at the very beginning. So, But this is a primary uh, area where the botanist will play a very very crucial role, a very integral role in the upcoming times to come because our children and the children of their children are going to require the, the specific attention needed to prevent the climate change, to, 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 to stop it and to make the environment better and uh, for our next generation to come. The second important uh, reason to choose botany as a career option is that uh, you get a career scope in agriculture, in horticulture and herbal industry. The herbal industry in India is growing very rapidly because people know the adverse effect of allopathic medicine. So they are moving towards herbal products and moving towards naturaceuticals. So naturaceuticals as we say and the products related to chronic diseases are there in naturaceutical field because the license is FSSAI only without any pharma license. You can make them, you can be an entrepreneur in this field or you can work here in the horticulture industry, in the plant science industry where you work in the, uh, in the development of higher crop yields and also in plant breeding, in artificial seed technology, in organic farming growing microgreens, all these things are possible. Plant biotechnology is the area where you can work uh, and uh, obviously plant tissue culture is the area where you can work. Generation of high protein content from plant or plant based protein like mushrooms and also microgreens are the places where the modern era is moving into. Particularly the tier 1 city people, they want to get into healthier lifestyle which they want to achieve via natural ingredients and this is where the organic farming uh, comes in, this is where the uh, herbal uh, industry comes in. The herbal industry, the Ayurvedic industry uh, that the companies that are producing herbal medicine and uh, nutraceutical industries are going and companies like Patanjali, Dabur, Himalaya, they are hiring people from the field of botany in order to do R&D, in order to be a part of their production unit, in order to be a part of their QCQA. So the industrial sector recruitment is also there for all this section from botany background, from agricultural background. So I believe that the application of botany or applied botany is a better way to go in this approach compared to a classical botany field, but still you have this approach. Now the third, uh, the third reason to choose botany here is that obviously uh, into research and higher studies, right? Uh, right after graduation in botany, that is BSc in botany, you can get into MSc in botany, you can get to do PhD, postdoctoral studies and studies related to the climate change, studies related to the better yield of the crop, genetics, plant genetics uh, and obviously the plant biotechnology, plant tissue culture are the places where you can work. 
uh, as a research scientist, research uh, researcher at the beginning, then research scientist at the at, at the later moment. For, but for that, you need to go through graduation, masters, then uh, clearing NET and other PhD entrance examination, get into the uh, different labs of either DBT projects or DST projects or other international programs are also the, out there to help you uh, in the process of research and higher education in this particular field. So these are the three major reasons to choose botany right now because it is not always the amount of money because right now if you are into the life science field as a whole you know that you're not going to earn a huge buck at the beginning but botany will not only enable you to get into the real core of problem solving in country like India in the upcoming times to come because we need to feed a huge crowd in India. You need to find a way to do that and you're a botanist then you are the person, you're the architect to do that and also you can build a good business in this particular field uh, from the knowledge that you have with application of this knowledge. So yes, you can earn a good money if you can establish a good business in this particular field which is possible and uh, in upcoming times many many natural uh, companies are going to be big in the future 10 years. So this is a time to devote your knowledge, application based knowledge in order to get it. So the final thought I would say is that obviously if you want to work uh, in the helping of the man, human, human kind at this moment and also help in the agricultural purpose, help in the environmental conservation and also uh, overall crop development and helping country like India and also produce something so that you can, we can export and also uh, get uh, economic boost for the country uh, and also you can do higher research so there are multiple doors open if you want to continue with the botany career in this particular 2025-2026 uh, this particular time frame in India okay so if you want to know the other side of the coin what are the top three reasons not to choose botany now, the, the preferences will be varied from person to person so decide after watching both the videos and put the comments and let me know what do you think about it. But these are the three reasons I believe to choose botany as your career option now in 2025. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video to your friends and colleagues, subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.